the 1983 Elizabeth II one-pound coin marked a significant change in British currency. Introduced to replace the old one-pound banknote, this coin was the first of its kind, featuring a design that would become iconic. The obverse showcases the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by Arnold Machine, a familiar image on British coins since 1968. The reverse, designed by Eric Sewell, features the royal coat of arms, symbolizing the United Kingdom's rich heritage. This coin is composed of nickel brass, an alloy of 70% copper, 24.5% uh, zinc, and 5.5% nickel, giving it a distinctive golden appearance. It weighs 9.5 grams and has a diameter of 22.5 millimeters, with a thickness of 3.15 millimeters. The edge is inscribed with the phrase Dex et Tutamen, meaning an ornament and a safeguard, a feature intended to deter counterfeiting. In 1983, the Royal Mint produced nearly 443 million one-pound coins, a substantial number reflecting the coin's intended widespread use. However, within this vast production, variations can occur, such as differences in die alignment or minor errors, which can pique the interest of collectors. Despite the high mintage, certain factors can significantly enhance the value of a 1983 one-pound coin. Coins in mint condition, especially those graded as uncirculated or proof, can fetch higher prices. Proof coins, struck with a higher quality finish and often sold in sets, are particularly valuable. On average, a circulated 1983 one-pound coin might be worth its face value, but an uncirculated or proof coin can range from 5 pounds to 20 pounds or more, depending on the condition and demand. Collectors seek coins with minimal wear and original luster. Key indicators of a coin's desirability include sharp details on the queen's portrait and the royal coat of arms, as well as a clear and unscratched inscription on the edge. Proof coins with their mirror-like finish and detailed design are especially prized. While browsing eBay and other online marketplaces, you'll find various listings for the 1983 one-pound coin, with prices ranging widely. Some sellers may inflate prices, hoping to attract uninformed buyers. Uh, it's essential to research and compare listings, focusing on the coin's condition, authenticity, and seller reputation. Look for certified coins from reputable grading services to ensure you're getting a genuine piece at a fair price. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more numismatic adventures.